Hello. I was just wondering, uh, the 1990s uh, Doctor Who TV movie, were you happy that you were called back and you were given the opportunity to put some closure to your doctor when you uh, regenerated into the eighth Paul McCann's doctor? Yes. Great. Right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. I mean, the thing is, when I did Doctor Who in the first place, uh, there was a certain actor who all your neighbors didn't turn up for the regeneration. <laughs> They left his costume. So they put me in his costume. And they lost me for three days. Because <laughs> Colin's costume is wrong. Anyway, um, and so I actually played Doctor Who number six and seven. I suppose I could Doctor Who 6.5 and seven. And I've played two doctors. And when I did that, I remember thinking, oh, if I ever have to regenerate again, I will definitely, I swear to myself, I will come back and do it, come what may, whatever the circumstances, because I think it's you know, part of the process, and therefore I must do it. It's the agreement I've made with myself to do it. So they went there, they phoned up uh, to say, come back, and we're going to make a film, and we're going to have you in it, and I thought, oh well, they'll just have the, oh, the opening tech credits, you know, in changing to do that. And they sent a script, I thought, wow! So I signed the contract and the other script and reduced it. <laughs> That's what they do, like us. Anyway, <laughs> somebody wasn't as big, but yeah, yeah. Anyway, I met one to Canada, I thought I'd like to go to Canada, I'd like to go to Vancouver, it'd be great. Paul McGann is staying over, he's an old mate, but you'll get to see him. And so I had a really good time doing it. But uh, it was quite interesting, you know, um, working uh, again. That, Think of British actors and American actors the difference. Because we are so theta orientated in our background, even though we might do more film now, we're kind of used to sharing this being on the stage as a team one. You know, you look, it's a game you back in the all back and forward between each other. A film you don't necessarily have to have another actor with you. I mean, you, you, you go to the camera and you work. What you do is you work with the camera. Your relation to American actors work brilliantly. We're not used to that. We have to learn how to do that. That is still the person. Not the other actor. We don't have to be there. And so, uh, when we were in, uh, Paul and I were in Vancouver, the, uh, the, the makeup ladies, the team, all the people behind the kids stuff, rather liked us because we hung around and chatted to them, but you know, we're kind of used to it. Do. Whereas the American actors arrived, and, you know, they did their scenes, and then they got up by the way. I mean, one, one of them kind of arrived, and uh, we, we had this huge Winnebago each, and our mind was beautiful on the carpet, lighting for all seasons, and, and I could have, you know, uh, at the time the Vietnamese war people were kind of fleeing, and I could have put up a couple of families in the one I had, it so big, and I'd be delighted to as well. But anyway, uh, uh, one of the actors arrives, and he, he gets rid of the carpet, he didn't like the carpet. I did there for two weeks, I didn't realize it was going to the carpet. We were used to like, we just changed the toilets at the BBC. So, and, uh, and then, and then, you know, he sacked the makeup. Like, but we didn't do any of that. Paul and I didn't do that. So when, when I got shot, the very last scene that I actually filmed was the one where I do get shot. Uh, and I'm lying freezing in the back of a puddle. Uh, the ice falling, by the way, actually, I was like, when I came up, you could see the shape of my face on the Anyway, I was like, and the makeup, head of makeup, head of water, went to the producer and said, please, please, can you not just make it look as if they missed? Don't let them shoot, because they got to go home and they didn't want me to leave. Because, you know, we were merry. We were, you know, Paul and I were really chatty and merry. But anyway, that's uh, another story. I just told you.